to another episode of Currency Derivatives. In this part, we share insights on some of the basic differences between the spot market and the currency futures market and try to understand the nuances that lie within the Indian currency derivatives. To take us through these fine points, we have Mr. A.V. Rajware with us. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us. And before we get on to the discussion, let's take a look at what is the basic difference between the spot market and the futures market. Spot FX is the market for on-the-spot delivery and instantaneous settlement of currencies, the timeline for delivery of which is two days. It is highly sensitive to market conditions and large frequencies of transactions are undertaken on a day-to-day -day basis. Currency futures, on the other hand, is the exchange of one currency for the other on a future date at the rate determined on the present day, that is, the purchase date. It is largely used to hedge the foreign exchange risk and the transaction is closed in a span of 30 days. The minimum trading amount has to be $1,000. Mr. Rajware, we have just understood as to what really is the difference between a spot market and a futures market. What is, uh, you know, the entire derivative product, and especially in context with what is current, what are currency derivatives? Could you please give us an insight on that? Uh, you know, the <clears throat> basic definition of a derivative contract is that it's uh, obviously it's a contract between two parties, but its uh, value or price keeps changing with the value or price of the underlying asset. Now, that's the basic definition of a derivative, whether it's a commodity derivative, whether it's a currency derivative, equity derivative, any derivative. And uh, as you know very well, uh, equity derivatives are taken off uh, extremely well in India. In fact, the equity derivatives market in India is one of the largest in the world. Uh, currency derivative, the only difference is that the underlying asset is not a share or copper or gold or anything, but a currency. And at present, the currency futures contract is limited to dollar rupee. So that's the only underlying asset currently being traded. Okay. Now, uh, we've seen the spot and uh, futures market for various commodities, etc. As far as in currency futures is concerned, is there any difference that is there with vis-a-vis -vis the other commodity markets or is it just the same thing and just uh, an underlying asset that is changed and working uh, on that? In relation to the currency futures contract in India or even the OTC forward market in currencies, uh, there is one sort of difference. Uh, you know, essentially, uh, all financial market pricing of futures or forwards is uh, no, known as what is known as arbitrage free pricing. That is the basic principle on which the future price gets determined in financial market, whether it is equities, currencies, etc., etc. On the other hand, Commodity derivatives to which you referred, they stand on a different footing. In commodity derivatives, the futures price is not the arbitrage free price. In fact, the futures price is basically reflects the expectation of the participants about what the future spot rate will be. So it's not arbitrage free pricing and therefore quite often what you will find is that uh, the futures, uh, for instance, uh, in commodity markets, quite often the futures price is cheaper than the spot price. Spot price. Sometimes it is higher, sometimes it is lower. While in financial markets, whether we are talking of uh, futures on bonds, on currencies, on equities, uh, there is arbitrage free pricing that is basically spot price adjusted for the interest differential. Now, in our uh, case, that's currency futures in India, the futures price, to my mind, falls somewhere between these two. Okay. Partly it is like a commodity, mm -hmm. partly it is like a financial asset. The reason is that our uh, forward margin, that is the difference between the spot price and the futures price, is not always a function of interest differentials which would be the arbitrage free pricing. The reasons for that are a bit technical, but uh, what one needs to note is that uh, we still do not have capital account convertibility fully. Mm -hmm. So there are differences to uh, arbitrage free price. There are difficulties mm -hmm. in arbitrage free pricing. Therefore, I would say that the currency futures pricing falls somewhere between these two. Yes, partly it is driven by interest differentials, mm -hmm. 
but a uh, lot of it is uh, also driven very much by expectations about the future price future price well on that note we take a short break here but don't go anywhere as we get the answers to your queries by a special guest here you are using a currency futures contract for hedging you are removing that uncertainty so there is no risk on the other hand if you are using currency futures for trading there is obviously a risk because the price could move 